Hello everyone, I'm Zelda Kelly with Seeing Crime. Welcome to episode 26, Karen Reed, in the month of August, with all the bad actors. I mean, there's no other way to play this, but I'm, what I'm going to tell you is all about the month of August, planetarily wise, because it is going to affect her case, it's going to affect these bad actors, and it is going to affect her. Before we get started, please do me a favor and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing coming out. Because the other thing I want you to do is go get some paper and a pen and write some of these things down. Because as time goes upon, uh, well, upon us in August, you, I want you to be comparing notes. Because I think you're going to see some things come into fruition. So if you want to do that now. We'll wait. Okay, welcome back. So, now I'm going to introduce to you two cards. This is Karen Reed. She is the Pisces. She is a moon card. This is John O'Keefe. Rest in peace, John. He is a Sagittarius, and he is the Temperance card. I'm going to let them remain here during our reading, during our little video, so if there's a, a, any indication of any of those two coming out, we're going to see what that communication means. Now, there's some things that planetarily are going to affect all of them and the case, like I said. So let me introduce the foundation and what we're going to be doing. This is the Thelema Lenormand deck, an oracle deck, kind of like the Kipper. And here we are with our old friend. And then I have the Vintage Tarot deck and our other friend, the Hidden deck by Bicycle. So let's get started. That is very important that I bring this video to you today. And the reason being is because the planet Mercury is about to go retrograde. And we are in a shadow period of retrograde right now. So for those of you who don't know, I'm going to put this here. For those of you who do not know what Mercury retrograde is, the planet Mercury, as it's going in orbit around the sun, appears as though it slows down and it appears as though it starts going backwards in orbit. Now it doesn't really. It just slows down. Now, all of our planets in the solar system do that. It's just Mercury is especially hard because Mercury retrograde is the planet that rules all communication. You see where this is going. With a Mercury retrograde going backwards, you can expect messed up communication. You can expect emails that are missing missed phone calls, texts that don't make it through, money that seems to delay maybe a day or two or three or eight. You can expect things to be delayed. Now, they also tell you, do not sign any important papers unless you absolutely have to in the month of August, right now, during, or any time, doesn't matter in the month of August, but during this time of Mercury retrograde, don't sign anything. Now, that's what they say. You have to do what you have to do. If you've got to sign something in the month of August, it's probably because you started it before this Mercury retrograde, and that's okay. But be cautious. And I'm just going to tell you, if you sign anything important, like for a house or a car or an employment contract, read the fine print. Don't let it come back on you. I want you to also know that exes, your ex, exes, may come back during a Mercury retrograde because you see everything kind of resurfaces and goes back. You see where we're going in this. If an ex comes back during a Mercury retrograde, nine and a half, nine point eight times out of ten, they don't stay. So let's get started, and I'm going to walk you through this. And I'm going to walk you through where Mercury is making its transition 
through the month of August and how it will affect Karen, the case, and all these bad actors. It's very interesting what's happening in the month of August because the first card that we have out is, whoops, pardon me. Okay, there we go. The first card we have out is the card of Leo, is the strength card because as of August 4th, there's a brand new moon. Now this moon, new moon is very important because it sets us up for leadership. It also sets us up for bold intentions. Remember, they have that new lawyer for Karen Reed who's going to be heading, heading up the defense team with all of this, this in, in trial, August 9th. And he's going to come out like he is just owning the place. He is bold. That's because of this Leo. Now, the next card is this Mercury retrograde, as we just said, but in the sign of Virgo. You know who the Virgo is. That's Brian Albert. Let me tell you a little bit about the Virgo. A Virgo has to be grounded because it's a very earthy sign. And for those of you who are a Virgo, you know you have to have good footing, a good stability, good foundation. You see the little star in the lamp there? That star represents the six-sided star of Solomon. That means there's got to be a lot of wisdom behind this card. Aside from Brian Albert, no pun intended, but that's what Virgo wants from this. So what happens when Virgo is in Mercury retrograde going on the 5th? It's going to cause confusion. It's going to cause miscommunications, frustrations, old things and especially for Virgos, revisiting old plans. You see where I'm going with this. Then on the 14th, Mercury moves into the house of Leo, or into the sign, rather, of Leo again. So what does that mean? Communication, drama, expressions, and yes, by then, on the 14th, Karen's case will be decided and moving on from there. But the month of August is still going to affect them big time. Now, here's another one I want to share with you, and you're going to love this one. You know who that gal is. There's a full moon in Aquarius on the 19th. You know what happens during full moons. It's like let out the werewolves. It's like going crazy. It's like emergency rooms are filled and 911 calls and just things are just so dramatic. Well, guess who that is? But in this sign is excessiveness. Boy, doesn't that sound like her. The full moon represents excess in this sign will be excessive and will start having strong desires for finances, that sounds like her, and relationship with unrealistic expectations. So she's going to expect people around her to do what she says or else. And that's during that full moon on the 19th. Then the sun on on the 22nd goes back into Virgo again. So these people have this all in August. They're going to be really heightened and crazy. But here's the good news. Mercury goes back to the original place of being what they call direct in astrology. I'm not an astrologer. I'm doing the best I can. I respect astrologers because it is a, an exact science. And wow, 
my brain doesn't compute with that. So I'm trying to give you the quick Reader's Digest uh, condensed version of what's happening. So Mercury goes back direct on the 28th, and then get this, my friends. On the 29th, Venus, now the 29th of August, Venus goes into the sign of Libra. What does that mean? It means balance is expected, and it means cooperation, and it also means compromised. You, they must compromise. There has to be cooperation. So with all of this planetary stuff happening, I want to read August. I want to see what's going on on the 9th of August, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to set these fellows aside. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that was confusing at all. I didn't mean for it to be. You know, when these things happen, I got to tell you what's going on, right? I got to tell you. So just remember, I'm going to clean up my board here a little bit. So we've got a little bit of room moving this hand over. And I'm going to put the tarot in the hand and I'm going to leave John and Karen right there. I'm so glad that you're with me. Thank you for being here. And I'll tell you, I love your comments. Thank you so much for your support in this because I love bringing these to you. Now, the Thelema Lenormand deck needs, must be read in pairs. Traditionally, you could pull one card out and say, okay, that's my daily card. But in order to get the best reading, you've got to pull the, the pair out. So let's get started with that, and I'm going to... I want to look on the bottom of the deck because I took a glimpse of something and I have to show you. Are you ready? That's why I stopped. That dog represents John. And that is significant in this reading. The Ten of Hearts, now there's the 18, which you can add together, numerology speaking, and that becomes a nine. I'll let all of you, you all are so wonderful at coming up with numbers and who means this and this and this. My goodness, if I had to pick a Crime Stoppers team, it would be all of you because I love all this. But the Ten of Hearts is an acknowledgement a successful, a card in which it's confirmation. And look, we have a doggy, cute little fellow, but that's not the doggy that we're talking about. Okay, so now back to the future. I want to shuffle again, and we'll see where the dog is. If the dog comes out again, very good. All right, ready? We're picking out two cards. I believe that is John, number 28. And the Ace of Hearts is a summer card. Isn't that amazing that we are having the trial August 9th? Oh! That one and okay on the dog card. That's right. See, I bet all of you picked that up. The one and the eight equals nine. So yeah, we're on the right track there. I'm gonna cut this again. Two and one is three, and the eight of clubs. It's going to be. I'm gonna tell you for the CW. It is going to be a hard mountain and a hard rock to climb. And I'm also going to tell you, it is going to be the same thing for the defense. The CW is going to make it very hard on them. And they're not going to let this go. They don't want to give up. Not yet. This Eight of Clubs is a gamble card. Now, I'm not talking about casino, gambling, poker, blackjack, any of that. It is a gamble in a situation. It is a gamble 
for what the defense is doing as far as the juries and this motions and appeals and all this. This is a gamble. Do I feel that they're going to be able to work through this? Yes, I do. Let's pull two more. 34 is 7 and King of Diamonds. Well, that King of Diamonds, again, is John. The fish, look at that. Now, who do you think that is? Isn't that amazing? The sign of a Pisces is a fish. You can't make this up. And look at the, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the number on this. 34, 34, Fairview. You see how excited I get on these things because it never ceases to amaze me. So we've got John, we've got Karen, and we have 34 Fairview. Uh, oh my goodness, I couldn't, have, I couldn't have made that up if I tried. Here we are, one more card, and that is it. The Seven of Diamonds, Determination. It means that there, and, and how does that fit in very, very well with all this planetary stuff going on? Determination, not giving up. Can't stop, won't stop. The birds are singing. Reduce that one and two down to three. But I'm wondering if something is also going to happen on August 12th as far as this case is concerned. Write that down and keep a note for this. The birds are singing. So it's a celebration to a certain degree for them. So thank you, Thelema Lenormand. We're going to move to the Kipper. Here we go. That's amazing. I'm just bowled over. I know you all are too. I love it. This is amazing. All right, Kipper, we're going to pull some cards out for you. Are you ready? Oh, oh this one's upside down. You don't read the Kipper upside down. All right, see, and you can tell by that little fellow face right there. Here we are, Kipper deck. Distant Horizons, number 36. We keep getting that, don't we? A wealthy man. Hmm. A false person. Well, we know who that is. False people. Message of concern. I believe that there's going to be a message to the CW or to... Those who are claiming that Karen Reed has done this. Now, who is claiming? Oh, of course. The McCabe's, McAlbert's, <laughs> the, the McAntibev. All of those who are claiming that Karen did this. But you see, there's a money man behind them. And it's all about control. It's all about power and control. What does distant horizons mean? Well, the distant horizons mean, you see there's a ship. Your ship is on the horizon and there's an anchor. Meaning, your ship is, the ship is about to come in. It is a ship in which it's going to be telling everything what's going on. But you see, there is a silver lining around all these, what seemingly feels like dark clouds. Now, I'm also going to tell you this. When it comes to this August 9th case, do not be disheartened if you see some twists and turns happen. If this particular motion does not get accepted or it is, there's a twist, don't get upset. Okay? Don't, sorry, I had to fix my camera, my darlings. Don't get excited. Don't get upset. Don't falter. Be determined to plow forward. Let's, let's do two more of these, and then we're going to take the tarot and see where we're going. Pathway, yeah, there is, I mean, this is a path, and they're working toward January and a marriage. They are committed to this. The number three is prevalent in all of these cards, just about all of them. 
4 minus 1 is 3. The 8 is significant. So what I'm going to say is there is a big commitment. This is a path. I mean, it, and it's it's been a long road, and it's going to continue to be a long road, I believe, until after the first of the year. I do not see the CW giving up yet. Even though all of the things with these ridiculous police officers and so forth are ruining their case. It's lessening the case, but they're not stopping. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. The pressure is on for Karen to either take a plea deal or they're going to try to sock it to her. You watch. That's why prosecution doesn't give up early because, you know, it's kind of like the point system. If he gives up, they're thinking that it's giving up too early and then it looks bad on Lolly and the CW. He's not going to give up till the absolute, until he's basically told by whoever is running the show, you better give it up. The other thing is I think that the feds are going to be coming out with more information that is going to be very damning, pardon me for the professional French, to the CW. There's another three, my darlings. Oh, look, two came out and look, 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 look. <laughs> Karen, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, I get excited. There's going to be a celebration around August 9th because they're going to come out hard. Now, it may seem like they're not winning to a certain degree, but I feel that this is going to be an accomplishment. They're going to be able to move forward. Someone is going to be appealing no matter which side, because even if Karen wins, the CW will appeal. They can do that. If the CW wins... Karen's side will appeal. They can do that. But I believe Karen is going to be in a very good position just because of these two cards. These two cards, well, this Ace of Swords is Cracker Jack communication. And I believe that's coming from the new lawyer and the defense team. Remember about the swords. Swords, suits are air signs. They are communication. But what's going on with communication now in the month of August? Mercury retrograde is going backwards. So I believe he is going to be especially spot on by instinct with the communication. He being the new a lawyer attorney on the defense team who is there only to handle this appeal. Oh, I'm sorry, not the appeal, the motion. And it's because of the jurors. Number 10. That is a conclusion. You see, they're going to take what they are learning and move on. So all of these things that are going to be brought out during this, during this August 9th procedure hearing they're going to take those and be ready to move on. And it is going to be somewhat of a celebration for them. Even if they lose it, it will be a celebration. Why? Because they're going to see where the CW is coming from. I also believe that the feds are giving them more information. There's going to be a more information dump. You know how you hear on some of those um, movies where they're having conflicts, they'll say, incoming, incoming. That's, that's how it feels. It almost feels like they're going to be just dumped on. Let's ask the hidden deck. And once again, my, my darlings, we have a long video, but I can't help it. I got to get all this information to you. Here we are. Well. <laughs> well. Okay, you know what this Three of Diamonds is? It's not only a business card, but it's a communication card. It means phone calls, communication. Now, in the old days, you want to hear this. 
in the old days, back in the 16 and 1700s, when someone got a three of diamonds, they thought they were going to be getting a message by pigeon, a message by horseback. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful how times have involved or evolved rather? But this particular card means phone calls. Isn't it amazing? We're talking about communication, kind of going backwards. So we're going to see. You might even see immediate outlet reporting something wrong and having to go back and correct it. So just keep aware. The two sevens here, 14, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 is definitely significant as far as this is concerned. I think there are three things that they're going to be bringing up in this court proceeding in this hearing. Now, I still say that there is going to be a total of seven juries, jurors by the time we're said and done. The other thing is, this is not a good card, and this negates, and this is not a good card. The eight of hearts means there is a lot of suspicion to the CW and to the bad actors. There's a lot going on. This is a card which means literally failure, and I do not believe it's with Karen, only because of the cards laying out there. We've got the success card laying out here with Karen, celebrating and being able to move on. Let's take one more Kipper card before we end our video today. And I really appreciate you being here and giving me the time. This is a tough video only because it is filled with so much information. Okay, here we are. The main female, that is Karen, once again. We are definitely seeing that Karen is going, is she's on the hot seat. And the CW, Lolly, they want to go forward. And even Auntie Bev wants to go forward as well. So in conclusion, I'm going to say with all of these planetary things happening, Jen is going to be affected tremendously. Brian Albert is going to be affected tremendously. And Karen will be because she's the subject matter. But there's going to be a lot of miscommunication, upset, craziness, drama, revisiting old things, bringing up things from previous trials that we had, or previous hearings that I think we've even forgotten about. Regardless, regardless, I know, I have to do it. I have to do it. I know. Here we are. Zelda, come on now. We have to have a sandwich stream one of these days because... Look at this, a ring and a bear. This ring is a promise. This is two and five is seven. This is a timing card as well, and that's winter. So there is a commitment from the CW coming for the winter to carry this on. So expect to be talking about that for January, is it the 25th that that, is it the 24th, 25th? I can't remember when they set the trial date in January. I know all of you will let me know, and I appreciate it when you do. Please do and comment. This particular card is bare. It means stable, tough. It means being able to survive, even the coldest weather, even the harshest of environment. That is our Karen. One and five is six. And this ten of heart, or I'm sorry, ten of clubs is a lump sum. And I believe that lump sum is going to be incoming, that incoming of documents and information and all of those other goodies that we have there, and you know me, I've got to take one more, I'm sorry, okay, here we are, oh yeah, that's Karen, Karen, this is a healing, this is Queen of Pentacles, this is definitely going to be a healing for her 
do I feel that the CW will, con will the do I feel there's going to be another trial? No. If there is, believe me, the defense team will smack them, metaphorically speaking. In my opinion, the CW knows that, as an old saying, that their goose is pretty much cooked at this point. But they're not going to give up because it is an ego thing. If they give up now, it's going to be a hard time. So I'm going to say their commitment to go forward, well, it ain't very smart. However, since when have they been so smart, right? So here we are with the suspicious, and I'm going to say this. This being under this and this phone, suspicious phone calls. There's going to be more coming out for our little friend, Karen. So just say prayers for her. Know that in the month of August, we have a lot of stuff going on for Brian Albert and Jennifer, and of course for the defense team, for Karen Reed. And it's going to be a trying month for those jokers. I mean those people. <laughs> so do me a favor, before we go, please subscribe, like, click on the notification bell. You don't want to miss any bit of this series coming about because we're getting ready to go on a really wild ride. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you all, and I will talk with you very, very soon. Love to all, and you know what this means, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.